Hey, for over 55 years now, World Compassion has been helping to build the local church and nations hostile to the gospel. You know, in Matthew 16, 18, when Jesus was talking to Peter and Peter got the revelation of who Jesus was, Jesus responded to him and said, and upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. I think about the work that we have been doing in Iraq now for over 20 years, 10 years since ISIS came rolling through that country. And a lot of Christians have fled that nation, the fled the northern part of Iraq. And you think about the context of that scripture verse, gates. Gates are meant to keep people out. And so we have been working hard coming alongside of Christians and the local churches in northern Iraq, helping to encourage them, to inspire them, to walk out the vision that God's given them because that vision leads to purpose, to keep them there. We can't build the church without the people there. And one of the exciting things that we have been doing is to help Christian families who may be lost their small business during the Syrian civil war or when ISIS came through to help relaunch those businesses in an effort for those businesses then to help fund the local church, to create a sustainable model for the church to continue to build. Those businesses also provide these families and these business owners a purpose and vision, a hope for the future, and it gives them a reason to stay. In other words, the gates of hell are not gonna prevail and keep them out. And so I wanted to highlight a story from one of our small business grants, uh, Abdullah, who is now a pastor, Pastor Abdullah, had to come in and take over his church because his pastor was actually killed by radical Muslims in his area. But he is also one of the original people that we invested in these small business grants with. Helping him start this small business is helping to sustain his family, which is allowing him to pastor and lead the church. And so he has a unique story in that his wife and his children have not yet become believers. And so everything about his life really encapsulates what a lot of Christians would struggle or fight against in Northern Iraq. And so it's been awesome to see his business launch the store uh, where he's selling goods to people in the community. He's able to build relationships with people in his neighborhood as a pastor. So it's also a ministry outreach, but it's also a business model that's helping to sustain him and the church and even empowering them to do outreaches themselves. They've got skills training like we have with, with another pastor in the area. And so this whole model really is helping to build the local church. And so I want to invite you to be a part of this with us. I think it's one of the most exciting programs that we are a part of at World Compassion right now, literally helping to rebuild the lives of people like Abdullah. We are currently vetting a number of different people right now that we need your help sponsoring in this way. And as you do, you are building the church. Just take Abdullah's story again, helping to build a life for him, a lifestyle for him, has now freed him up to go and help build the church, help to pastor people, disciple people, and to reach out to his community. And so we wanna do that multiple times over as we continue to strengthen the body of Christ in Iraq. We can't do this without you. They can't do it without you. We love you guys, and we hope to see you soon.